Let's assume that we already have a trained model to perform a specific task. In this video, we describe a number of possible options to deploy this model to real-life data. All deployment workflows have the same structure. There is an input part that reads the data, a prediction part that applies the model, and finally, an output part that saves the predictions. The deployment workflows then differ in terms of input-output, prediction, and execution mode. Now, let's have a look at some examples. The simplest deployment workflow reads from a file or a database and writes the prediction to a file or a database. To apply the model, we can use a PMML predictor if the model has been saved in PMML format, or we can otherwise use a dedicated predictor. The workflow has no GUI and no external requests. For that reason, it can be executed in batch mode or via remote or scheduled execution from the NIME server. NIME uses a one-click deployment, which means I just drag and drop my final workflow into the production server. Another deployment option includes model recoding in a target language. NIME offers model recoding in Java and SQL. In this workflow, we recode the model into a segment of Java code and into a piece of SQL script. The workflow reads data from a database. Then this branch implements the model as an executable jar file with this PMML compiler node. This other branch recodes the model into SQL instructions and injects them into a SQL script, which is finally executed on the database. The workflow can be executed again in batch mode and via remote or scheduled execution from the NIME server to generate the model code. The model, on the other hand, is deployed during the execution of the external SQL or Java-based application. This is also an example of code synthesis. The model can also be deployed as a RESTful service. This workflow implements model prediction as a REST API service. Input to the service is accepted in JSON format and the output result is encapsulated in a JSON structure. When this workflow is transferred to a NIME server, it keeps waiting for a request call. On request, it is executed and produces the modal prediction, which is the REST service response. I have already transferred this workflow to a NIME server, and now I call it using the REST protocol just to show you how this example works. To call it, I need to send a POST request. I can do that from within NIME with a POST request node or from any HTTP request composer such as Postman. So let's try with Postman. In Postman, we provide the request URL, the authorization type and the credentials to generate the authorization header. We then provide a valid JSON string containing the input data in the body tab. The service response contains the corresponding predictions. It is exported as a JSON structured output. This is also an example of containerization. Talking about containerization, we also have a working prototype to deploy workflows automatically into Docker. Another deployment mode involves creating an interactive dashboard on a web browser through the NIME web portal. This workflow reads the data from a file, applies the model, and in the output part uses some JavaScript-based visualization nodes to produce the dashboard page for the web portal. In the wrap meta node, we output some HTML text two tables, a link to a download file, and a bar chart, which will appear on the web portal. 
the deployment workflow is executed on the NAM web portal. Here, we start the workflow execution. We choose a local file with the deployment data. The file is then uploaded into the workflow. We click Next for the following workflow step. We choose the destination airport and the departure date and time and click Next to proceed to the next step. After execution, we get to the dashboard page with the bar chart and the two interactive tables. The table on the left shows the departure information with the delay predictions. Red traffic lights indicate a predicted delay. The right-hand table provides additional information on the flights that have been selected in the left table. And finally, the file with the modal predictions can be downloaded using the link at the end of the web page. The last deployment option produces a static report and send an update email. Prediction data and the image of a bar chart are transferred to the BERT reporting tool via a data to report and an image to report node. The data could be sent to Tableau or Spotfire using the dedicated nodes. The report can be exported to a range of formats doc, ppt, pdf, html, postscript and more. We choose the PDF format to create the file to attach to the email. The Send Email node enables you to send an email with the results of the workflow execution. An email then appears in our inbox. It contains dynamically created text and the exported PDF report as an attachment. The usual execution modes are available here as well, via batch or via remote or scheduled execution from the NIME server. In this video, we have shown you some of the most commonly used deployment options available in NIME. All of these options deploy a model. They simply differ in terms of input, output, execution mode, model recording, code synthesis and containerization.